Simultaneous ring and call forwarding are great features for anyone who's away from their desk or out of the office. It helps ensure that you and your team never miss an important call. With simultaneous ring, the call will ring on your Skype phone as well as the secondary phone number you designate. Usually, the second phone is your cell phone. With call forwarding, the call will only ring on the number you designate and not on your Skype phone. This is generally used to send calls straight to voicemail or to another member of your team when you are out of the office. I will talk about how to forward calls after they ring to you and you don't answer them at the end of this video. To activate simultaneous ring, click on the phone icon at the bottom of your contact list. Scroll down to simultaneously ring and choose from the options. I can choose from my work number, my mobile number, or choose a new number. If I click new number, this window will pop up and I can enter the number and hit OK. I'm not going to do that, so I'll just hit cancel. If I go back to the phone icon and simultaneously ring, I am going to ring my work number. This will turn simultaneous ring on. And right down here, you can see it now says simultaneous ring on. If you want to check which number your calls are ringing to, you can select the phone icon, scroll down to simultaneously ring, and there will be a check mark next to the option you selected. When I want to turn it off, I can just click the phone icon and select Turn Off Call Forwarding. This option will turn off simultaneous ring and call forwarding. And you can see here that Skype now says Call Forwarding Off to indicate that neither simultaneous ring nor call forwarding is on. To set up call forwarding, it's a very similar process. Click the phone icon and choose Forward Calls To. There are different options available for forwarding calls. I can still forward them to my work number or mobile, but now I have the option for new number or contact. If you have voicemail, the option to forward to voicemail would be between these two options on the list. I'm going to click new number or contact. This will open up a separate window where I can either choose one of my existing contacts or enter a new number into this field at the top. To choose a contact, I can right click and choose one of these options, or I can hover over their image, click the down arrow next to the phone icon, and choose from the same options here. I'm going to forward my calls to Adam's voicemail. An alert will pop up at the top of my contact list that call forwarding is turned on. I can turn off call forwarding at any time by clicking turn off up here, or I can select the phone icon and choose turn off call forwarding, like we did for simultaneous ring. It's also important to note that if you make an emergency services call, any forwarding rules you set will be automatically turned off for two hours so that emergency personnel can reach you and respond. If this happens and you want to reset your call forwarding options, you can just go back down to the phone icon. To change or view your call forwarding settings, you can choose call forwarding settings from here. Here, I can also turn off or on call forwarding and simultaneous ring or change the numbers that my calls are ringing to. I can also examine my current call forwarding settings. This is where I have the option to forward the call only after I've had a chance to answer it by changing the action here in the unanswered calls will go to section. This usually determines how long a call will ring before going to voicemail, but if I click here, I can choose to send the calls to another number if I don't pick up, and I can decide how long I want the call to ring to me before moving on. If I hit OK, Skype for Business will save my settings, and that's how you set up call forwarding and simultaneous ring on Skype for Business.